Hello everybody, Brett here today. Welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So we're going to start off today with a time lapse with me building out the cafeteria, the pharmacy, reception for nephrology and the lounge for nephrology. So guys, when I was recording, for some reason, my mic was really quiet. So the game music is quite loud when we get into the gameplay. All I can do is apologise about this. I thought about maybe time lapse in the whole episode, but I just don't think that's the best way to go about it. All I can do is apologise. So really sorry, but the game music is quite loud when we get into the game. I'll make sure it's all fixed before our next episode, I promise. Enjoy the time lapse. Hello everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the time lapse here. So we built the cafeteria, the pharmacy, the reception for nephrology and our little lounge slash restroom here at the back. So what we need to do is we need to put a few members of staff in here, especially the pharmacy. I don't think we're going to do nephrology today. I want to save that in one separate episode so we can really talk through kind of, you know, why community hospitals have some kind of specialization and then I'd like to actually also talk a little bit more um, hopefully about you know why South Moulton specializes in dialysis etc all that kind of good stuff so what I think we're going to do today is do staff over here then we're going to go and see if we can treat a couple of patients if we have a couple of patients in our hospital then i'd quite like to actually plan out our sexual health clinic we're sitting pretty nicely here on sixty-one thousand dollars, so we're not doing it too badly at all we've actually treated 14 patients today as well which is really really great right so over here i think the only stuff we're going to need to do in this episode is get out some kind of pharmacist in here right so let's go to the admin department right so we need here one pharmacist for our day shift now i'm being drawn towards susan here at the top she's not the cheapest by any stretch of the imagination but she's pretty good she's got no hidden perks and her pharmacy skill is actually the highest here and she's not even the most expensive member of staff that we could hire. So let's go with Susan. There we go, so Susan is now in. I've not got the mod, I don't believe I have anyway, I don't believe I've got the mod that allows patients to use the cafeteria. So we've got the cafeteria in, it is gonna be used by staff, but I was actually really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks quite nice. And obviously you will just have to kind of you know role playing pretend basically that patients will use this kind of small cafe i did try and build like a, like a small kind of like kitchen washroom here at the back i don't think it looks great by any stretch of the imagination um so this is actually 
a thing in the game that I really hope they expand going forward. I think it'd be really cool if we could actually build a proper kitchen for our cafeterias and like actually employ that as a member of staff, so a cook or maybe a special type of cleaner maybe that kind of you know prepares food and then just cleans the cafeteria. Not sure, not sure how it could work. So the pharmacy is a modified version of the prefab for the pharmacy. Again, I just I liked the way it kind of set out. Um, and so I've modified it a little bit just to make a little bit more sense. But I quite like it. I quite like how it turned out. And then we've got this little small reception area here, which will be for nephrology. And then we've got our lounge and restroom ready for when we get some kind of hospitalization in up here. We haven't got lots of space. We might even go onto this floor. So this could be a three story building over here. Not too sure how that's going to work out. We have, of course, got lots of space over here as well. So it'd be interesting to see what you guys have for ideas of you know what we could use in this space. Right, so what I think we're gonna do is let's try and treat some patients, I think. And then if we have time, we'll come over and maybe at least just plan out sexual health, but we might not actually build it, if that makes sense. Because again, that could be a good single episode where again, we could really then dive into kind of, you know, why sexual health is so important. What kind of community clinics do we see here in the UK? Do they offer any kind of sexual health services? So, you know, that's something that I really want this series to be. I want it to be us obviously building a hospital that looks nice and functions really efficiently. But I actually really want to give some kind of like information back because I also love learning at the same time, guys, okay? I don't know this stuff off the top of my head. Well, lots of it anyway. You know, so I'm enjoying like the learning process. Right, so we've got this chap. Oh, he's going upstairs. Oh, he's going to cardiology, it looks like. Okay, so he's actually come in, look, Mr. Lewis, because he's suffering from fatigue, elevated CRP, weight loss, fever, and then two other hidden symptoms. So, let's get this up. Let's pause it just for a little bit. Right, so we know that it is out of Crohn's disease. Yeah, so Crohn's disease, endocarditis, and giant cell arteritis. So for these, we've already done a few little tests and examinations here. So physical exam has been, does green mean done? Green means done and it found something, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, finished and revealed one or more symptoms. Okay, so that was not revealed. Tenderness was not revealed by the physical exam. We could do ophthalmoscopy. Have we done that? I don't think we have. Where's it gone? I've lost it. Loss of vision. Right, let's see. Oh, we can't do that. I believe that would need... Can't be prescribed at this department. Okay, diagnostic unit and emergency, internal medicine and neurology. Okay, so we actually can't do that test on Mr. Lewis here. So we might have to send this chap away, especially if he has got giant cell arteritis, because we're not going to be able to do the ophthalmoscopy Ophthalmoscopy. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. That word there anyway. And we also obviously can't do an angiography um, because we have not got those facilities here. So it could also be endocarditis. That requires physical exam, physical exam, interview, chest. We've done the chest, Fox percussion we've done. We've done that. Abdominal palpitation we've done. Physical exam we've done. Echo, can we do an echo? I wouldn't say so, can we? No. So we can't do an echo. And then the last one is an ECG. Can we do an ECG? I doubt it. Um, what does that need? Technologist unavailable cardiography unit. Okay. So we could. I wonder if you would have that in a community hospital. I would say that you probably would have some kind of capabilities of doing an ECG. Even if you know you wouldn't actually have a cardiography unit, I still think you'd have the ability to do an ECG. You know, the, the equipment would just be stored in a different room. Right, I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna quickly go onto the old Google and have a little bit of a look at this. Okay, so after having a quick look on the internet's web, it does look like that some GP surgeries, clinics, hospitals, 
community hospitals would have the facilities to do an electrocardiogram or an ECG. So let's get in our cardiography unit. Now I think it makes sense for it to be over here, I think. You know, a little bit tucked away. So let's pop it somewhere like, let's just make it look quite nice. Let's have a little gap there. Then it needs to be a minimum of five by four, it looks like. Let's go five by five. How much space have we got here? And we've got a six gap there, okay, that's fine. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go a wall here, like so, and that's just gonna go across there. Not sure what this space is going to be used for at all, guys, I'm really not sure. Let's get some blue tiles for in here, I think. I think that would look nice. And we'll keep with the kind of like the the line. Is that a line or I don't know? I'm not very good at colours, guys. I'm pretty basic when it comes to colours. I just think of things as like green, red, blue. Yeah, you know, I'm not a very shady person. Is that? I mean, I am quite shady, but a bit a bit dodgy. But do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Like I don't really, I don't know. Like if it's blue, it's blue. I wouldn't see it as royal blue or anything like. That. Oh my god, that was nearly perfect. Look, let's just move that window. So there, there we go. Nice and symmetrical now. Right, so this is going to be our cardiography unit. Now, what do we need? Let's do the items first, actually. Because then if, yeah, so the exam table, I'd like that to be like in a little separate bit with tiles. So let's go like the turquoise one. That's quite a posh colour for me, actually, saying turquoise. Does this require a desk? It does. This might need to be a little bit bigger then. Let's make this a little bit bigger actually. Let's just go one square, one square bigger, and then we need this to be blue tiles. Let's go around here. I'm so proud of myself. I'm keeping up with doing all the wallpaper. It's much easier. I spent so much time towards the end of our realistic hospital, like actual hours just doing wallpaper. Crazy. Right, so for this, it looks like we need a USG connected to this exam bed and an ECG, obviously the electrocardiograph. So, if we were to pop this in, maybe there, how are these bits arranged around it? There, and then let's get an equipment table. Okay, well that's not really gonna work, is it? So that actually got flipped to be like that. I think that will work a little bit better. ECG goes there. Well, how expensive for the serene? I don't think it's too expensive. The USG is probably, yeah, that's only 5,000. ECG is actually only $500, okay. Right, and then this is gonna be like a separate walled off area. Let's go down to, I don't know, there? Cause what I was gonna do is get like a watch window. And then a privacy curtain. Yeah, like there. And then can I put that, if I put that against the window, does that look really stupid? It does look pretty stupid, doesn't it? But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep that window there. And I'm gonna have to trust our technician, our cardiologist in here. I'm gonna have to trust them to close the blinds when we have someone in here having an exam. We'll, we'll trust them guys, okay, we'll trust them. Right, so now we just need the medical light. That goes on top of the bed. And then like the desk of all the other little bits. Right, so let's get some kind of sanitary bits here for when you're leaving this room. And then you did lab analyzer. No, yellow is just optional actually, isn't it? Why would you have a lab analyzer here? I don't know, that's not even making sense to me. I don't know if I'm just being a bit dumb, which is quite possible. That doesn't make too much sense in my simple brain. And we'll get a little chair there so you can have a little, you know, a little talk before, a little interview. Right, and then what else do we need? So let's just do the bits that we need. So printer there on the desk. Then we need some kind of equipment cabinet. I quite like to be able to see these. Oh, we could get this up there, look. And then one more up there. Oh, no, we can't. But I like that. That's nice and simple. So maybe we get one more. It can go there. Now can I get a plant to go underneath that window? I believe they can still walk through there. You wouldn't have a plant there though, would you? I don't think you'd have a plant there. Maybe like a, a bin? Let's go for a bin, let's go for a bin. And then here on top of that equipment cabinet, I was thinking maybe like some kind of 
files doesn't fit brochures brochures does fit but you could have something on top of that like you know leaflets about heart health how to keep cholesterol down all that kind of really really great stuff so let's get out i love this blood donors post i don't know why but i just really really like it and then heart as well how to keep fit maybe like one of them yeah okay i like that right so what we're going to do is this bit here is going to be tiled and this bit here will go for like a, a gray linoleum yeah i like that i'm pretty proud of that guys i'm not gonna lie to you not gonna lie to you right and then here let's just get out a small waiting room a bit like that gosh i want this to look nice you know i want it to look nice so if that came out what would it look like to have oh that might look a bit silly i might need to come out and be like a corner for it to look okay I think that would look pretty cool actually. Yeah, I quite like that. It's something a little bit different. It is very common in hospitals. I don't know, especially obviously the more modern hospitals, I'm not completely sure um, on the community hospitals, especially when they are kind of quite old buildings. If you'd have lots of glass, I, I would say they're probably quite dingy, you know, quite dark a lot of them, I would imagine. South Moulton was, was quite dingy in, in lots of places. Right, and then I was thinking here, could you have like a little bit of like a different floor? Just so it looks a little bit different. And then maybe like some nice blue chairs here. You know, like the standard doctor's waiting room really, isn't it? We'll get a fire extinguisher there in the corner. Maybe like some magazines to browse whilst you're waiting. A clock is always really important to know what time your appointment is. Um, what else would you have here? Not too sure, maybe like a wet floor sign. I like these, it just gives a little bit of realism. I quite like that. And then maybe like a plant, you know, really, really simple. And then on this wall, yeah, you definitely need something. We'll get our trusty COVID-19 poster. And then maybe a couple of chairs, something a little bit like that. And then in the middle, maybe another coffee table. Is that too many coffee tables? don't know it's probably not far off being too many coffee tables it's probably not far off in the world of 2020 let's get out some more disinfectant and we'll get a nice little flower there okay I like that um can we get a chart board I just love the chart board I just think it looks really really cool can we get I don't know if we've got a clock in here or not I don't think we did did we let's get a clock there and maybe like a fire extinguisher just to have something there we have got quite a lot of electrical machines so we probably would have a fire extinguisher what is the one for electrical goods is it the is it the carbon dioxide one i don't know I, i'm just making stuff up now i think it i know it's got like a special one for electrical equipment hasn't it i don't know why but my gut is telling me it's the carbon dioxide fire extinguisher but i'm probably wrong right so this up here our cleaning closet was based on general yes general surgery so what I'm going to do is let's make this a general surgery corridor that goes down to the elevator. Now I was going to get out a couple of wheelchairs. I can't get one out of there. I could get one in there. I could get a couple in here. Let's get a couple of different colours. Just seems you know, like a little wheelchair park. I quite like that. Okay, I quite like how that's turned out. Not sure what this space is going to be. Feel free to let me know down below what you should think. Because I don't... <laughs> I don't want any more hospitalization other than the nephrology, which is going to be up here. So I'm really not sure what it is going to be. I might have a little bit of a delve um, on the old internet webs and have a look, you know, see if we've got any more things that are kind of like specialist or are kind of specific to community hospitals. Right, so staff. Let's get some staff in this joint. Right, so for our cardiology room, so we've got Sarah Wilson, who's good. She is more efficient at night. Rachel's looking very good. Though. She's got nice clean shoes, clean feet, so she doesn't make the floor dirty. She's really good at biochemistry, just like me. I'm joke. That's a joke. That is a joke. Um, she's got a pretty decent cardiology skill, and she's not the most expensive in the world. Rachel, come into our hospital and do your thing right there we go right i do need to name i know that we didn't name one of our doctors who are you you're tio 
Cardio was Theo, Tio and Theo, ENT was James. Cardio did we name no what wait what's our wait what's this room? Nephrology, of course it's nephrology. That's Barbara Brown. Right, because we do need to get in Mr. Jacob. Jacob Cushion. There you go. Jacob, let me know if you're okay. Well, let me know if you're not okay being um, a female in the game. Just let me know. Um, you know, some people care, some people don't care. But let me know. If it bothers you, then we can fire um, the old Barbara and get in um, a male doctor if you wish. Right, awesome. So that's all of that jazz kind of sorted out. Have we still got that guy? I've just realised that we've got in the cardiography, cardio cardiography unit, um, but he actually might have left, which would be actually quite funny if we've got all of that in and he's actually now just left. Can I see, how do I see all of my patients? I think I need to do it via department, don't I? Oh, he's still here. He is still here. It was you, wasn't it? I think it was you. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Look, here you are. Yeah, go and get your ECG done. Go and get your ECG done, because I think that is going to be quite important for us to know actually what's wrong with you. Wait, what? We can do an echo now as well? Of course, we've got in the USG machine in here, didn't we? Let's do the echo as well, my son. Let's do that as well. Right, I'm going to stop it following, because I want to watch this happen. Daniel's lying down. About to get his massage. Here we go, look. What, is, what are you called? I've already forgotten your name. Rachel. Rachel is doing the ECG at the moment. That's lighting up, telling us what's, um, you know, Daniel's uh, heart rhythm and electrical activity of the heart. Right, is this going to show us anything? He's going to be going to his chair. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you might need to go um, back in for the echo. Yeah. Uh, a bit strange, isn't it? you got to go outside, wait again, come back in for your echo. Hopefully now, Rachel's going to use the USG machine, isn't she? There we go. That was 5,000 quid, that was, Rachel. So you better look after it. Don't want any mishaps, do we? So we're going to do an echo, see if that helps. Oh, we can do... Wait. We can do PCR. Oh, I didn't know they'd done PCR in the haematology. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. So we could do PCR, although I don't think that would tell us much. So the other one it could be is Crohn's. And Crohn's uh, abdominal pain, we've done the palpitations for his abdomen, interview, abdomen, stool analysis, blood test, blood test, CT, blood test, interview. Did we do a blood test? We done it. We did do the blood test and it actually didn't give us any kind of indication to what might be wrong. Right, so we're going to go and see Theo. We're going to go and talk to... Wait, no. We're leaving. No, 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 no. We spent all this time. And because the clinic's ended, Daniel's leaving. Bugger, is what I can say about that. Bugger. Right, OK, so I assume we've got no other patients in the hospital now, do we? They should have all gone by now. And I assume there's no samples to put through in the medical lab. No. We've got some staff here in our cafeteria. What are you doing? You, I don't know what you was eating, but that looks a little bit strange. I don't know if anyone's come to our pharmacy. And obviously our nephrology rooms are vacant at the moment. I think we'll do nephrology next episode. So I think that'll be quite a good episode. I'm quite looking forward to that. Quite looking forward to doing that. I was just going to have a little bit of a rundown of budget and how we're looking for our budget. So, how are we looking? So, we spent $36,000 on building and we're minus $13,000 for the day. So, if that cancels out, we're doing pretty well. I mean, this probably makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? So, for our clinic look, we've actually gained $3,730 today. Our wages are quite low. So we did only spend $381 on wages for our clinic. Obviously we've got no hospitalization for the moment. I assume other is like objectives that we've done. You know, when it's given us like $10,000 grant, $20,000 grant. So that must be that. So I think actually we're doing pretty well in terms of our, you know, kind of budget really. 
Oh yeah, I know James had some brilliant um, suggestions for names. Right, I was going to quickly duck out again, guys. I'll get up Discord and I'll see what names James suggested because he had some really good ones. Okay, so James gave us three suggestions. We had the Scent Boulevard Medical Centre, Danesville Community Hospital and Titsville Small Hospital. Now, Titsville, guys, is basically what I was calling our hospital in our realistic series because when we had traumatology in that hospital, we kept having people coming in that for some reason were sticking their arms in microwaves. So I um, dubbed it Titsville. Um, so let's go. I quite like um, St. Boulevard Medical Centre. I quite like that. Let's do that. St. Boulevard medical centre there we go I like that I think that's quite nice you know yeah I like that a lot there you go James you you're not only one of our ENT doctors and um, you're actually sitting right there I believe there you are look. you're not only one of our ENT doctors you've also named the hospital yeah bloody one patient that we couldn't train it's bloody Daniel Lewis we literally got in a whole cardiography room for him Spent five thousand pounds on the USG, spent five hundred pounds on the ECG, and he just bloody leaves. He just bloody leaves after that. Shocking, ladies and gents. I'm going to leave this episode here for today as we start day five in this brand new Let's Play. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like the video if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you next time where we are either going to be building out our sexual health clinic or our nephrology hospitalisation. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys, please take care of yourselves and I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.